You say you saw McAllister after he left the dining room? Uh, yes, sir. I saw Mr. McAllister coming back to his room. Come to think of it, he was acting kind of weird. Weird how? Well, he was swaying back and forth and sweating like he was drunk. Hmm. That's strange. Why is that strange? Well, I, uh... I checked with the maitre d'. Apparently, all he'd been drinking was mineral water. Well, maybe he had a drink before he went downstairs. Mm hmm. There were two used martini glasses, but nothing with his prints on it. Uh, mm -hmm. listen, if you don't need me anymore, I'm kind of losing on time and yeah. tips, so... Yeah, sure. You've been a big help. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck. How has he been a big help? I don't know. What's on your mind, Sherlock? It's one other possibility. <laughs> What's that? That he was already unconscious on the floor when he was shot. The only other way he could have been taken out point blank. Clearly there is something wrong and you are the cause of it. David, uh, why don't we... No, I'm not going to wait a minute. I want an explanation and I want it now. Concerning? Concerning the hordes of policemen you have traipsing through my home, through our garden, through our garage. They're even sneaking aboard the Aphrodite. They're not sneaking anywhere. They've got warrants. Besides... And as if that isn't enough, you have people flashing their badges at the headquarters of ELQ. You'd rather they flash something else? I don't find that in the slightest amusing. Tis the season. I consider what you're doing harassment. I intend to talk to my attorney, and I deeply resent you trespassing on our property. Tracy, I'm truly sorry regarding the inconvenience to you and your family. But until I find that million, the inconvenience will continue. That's all you have to say? I have a great deal more, but this isn't the time or the place. May I say that when this is over and my innocence is proven, I will have your badge. And I can't believe you don't have better yeah, taste I'm in I'm men. Glory be to St. Patrick. What a sweetheart. Boy, <laughs> she used to be my friend. She looked like she could strangle you. I knew that. <sighs> well, it's a good thing she's not a blonde. Not when she left the room. <laughs> can't always be funny, Robert. <laughs> What you've been waiting for, sir? McAllister's autopsy? Yep. How are we doing with the missing bonds? Well, we're having trouble locating them, sir. <laughs> Tell Lewis to start burning the midnight oil. Okay, you got it. Is there anything else? Just find me the bonds, dear. Well, we are trying. Mm, I know. Off you go. All right. Good night. Uh, good night, Catherine. Good night, Sam. Uh, just give me a minute. I'd like to have a quick peek at this. Go right ahead. Thanks. <laughs> Seems pretty important, Robert. Important, perhaps. Interesting, definitely. Well, you sound pretty perplexed. I'm uh, more curious, I think. Is there, something, is there something new on McAllister's death? Huh. What? We've got to check this out. A clue? Another clue? We've got to check it out, dear. you got to love it. He'll drive you crazy, but the man will never discuss his cases. i say this, and it might explain a few things. Such as? Listen to the lady. I never discuss cases. Oh, right. I'm well, sorry. but if I had to guess, I would say that whatever is in this report is going to bring you one step closer to finding out who the murderer is. Hmm. Well, Tracy Quarterman's been charged. Uh, I mean, you must have some evidence. Oh, well, he's very thorough. He being the police commissioner and all of it. I know we won't discuss this, and I'll just be happy when it's all over. I will say this: we're close, very close. Well. On that very optimistic note, I think I'll leave you two alone to celebrate. You will so, find your man or your woman, whatever the case may be. Right. Right. Well, in the meantime, after all your hard work, I'm sure you two want to spend some time alone, so... Ah, oh, excuse well, me. Look, Jimmy, you don't have to leave. I don't argue with him. Don't be rude. Okay. Uh, I'm tired anyway. I'll, I'll see you later. Big 10-4 on that. All right. Okay. Something good in here, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, interesting. 
Now, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that to solve this, I may have to go back to the beginning. Oh. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, no, now you're beginning to sound like Tanganyva. Oh, look, dreamers. forget about the bloody dreamings, would you? Come here. Yeah, oh, yeah a bit impossible. of this. Impossible. You're it just well, impossible. You're starting to sound like the guy yourself. I, I, you know, I know, I know, I can't help it, but I, I do think about Mr. T and his dreamings. I'm sorry. You don't scare me, Blondie. Well, you scare me. Yeah. And until midnight, yeah. New Year's Eve, yeah. you're going to be glued to my side. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, God. I mean it. Oh.